In this video, I'll show you how to install Mach 3 and connect the Pokies 57 CNC board to the computer and show how to install the plugin. To download Mach 3, you'll need to go to mocksupport.com, click on Software and Downloads, click on Mach 3. To navigate to the Mach 3 product page, click on the Download Page button. If this is the first time you're downloading Mach 3, make sure to read this page as it has very important information about the product. I'm installing it on the Windows 10 operating system, so I'm going to install the Mach 3 with add-ons included. Click the download button and save the file in a place where you can find it. When the file has completed downloading, go ahead and open the file and the installation of Mach 3 will start. Click Next, accept the terms if you agree to them. And I typically keep the installation folder on the C root directory. Click Next. For this installation, I don't really need the parallel port driver, so I'm going to remove that in the installation. Create a custom profile at this time if you wish, otherwise just click Next and the installation will commence. If you didn't create a custom profile, it doesn't really matter, you can do that later on. It is highly recommended that you do create a custom profile just so that you can maintain certain settings and you can create a custom profile for many different types of configurations. Click Finish when the installation is completed. You'll notice there are a few different icons on the desktop. Each of these represents a different profile and can be used to start the Mach 3 program. The Mach 3 loader icon will allow you to select the specific profile that you want to use and also to create new profiles. I selected the Mach 3 mil profile and that will start the Mach 3 program immediately. Now let's download the Mach 3 plugin for the Pokies 57 CNC interface. You can go to polabs.com or poscope.com. Click on the downloads manuals link at the top of the web page. Scroll down to the libraries and plugins section and click on the Pokies Mach 3 plugin plus manual link. Save it in a location that you'll be able to find later. Go to the download location and double click on the zip file to see the contents and to locate the pokies.dll file. Now you'll need to navigate to the Mach 3 folder that was created in the Mach 3 installation and this will typically be on the c colon backslash Mach 3. Within the Mach 3 folder locate the plugins folder and double click that to go inside of it and you're going to copy the pokies.dll file from the zip file to this plugins folder. For this quick demonstration we'll be using the USB cable and the computer's power to power the interface. So we'll need to move the jumper that is next to this USB cable to set the board to use the USB as the power and not the external terminal as the power source. You will need a USB connector type A to type B to connect the computer to the interface. Connect the type A end of the USB cable into the computer. Now the type B end of the cable can be inserted into the USB connector on the interface. Once the cable is connected, you'll see that the power light is lit and the status LED is flashing. Now Mach 3 will be able to recognize the Pokies 57 CNC interface board. I'm going to open Mach 3 with the Mach 3 loader so you can see that there is another way to create a profile. And you can also get into the program by double clicking on Mach 3 mil. When Mach 3 opens, you'll see a dialog box that shows a list of plugins and you'll notice that Pokies is on the list. Select that plugin and press OK. Now click on plugin control on the top menu and select configure Pokies 57 CNC. This will bring up the configuration screen for the Pokies 57 CNC. Alternatively, you can click on the plugin control and then select the Pokies plugin and then click on configure. That will take you to the same screen. This configuration screen with all of the tabs house nearly all of the settings that you'll be changing in Mach 3. That is how to install Mach 3, install the plugin for the Pokies 57 CNC interface board, and confirm that the interface board functions and that the plugin can be accessed and configured. Thank you for watching.